here is full of fish. I think about fishing nearly all the time. Growing up, my arrows were the best fishermen, <coughs> the best hunters, the best log cutters. Yabba dabba do. My name is John Gillett. I live in a fishing community called Twillingate, Newfoundland. And it's a beautiful, beautiful community, in my opinion. <laughs> fishing is a family affair for us. Yeah, I'm the uh, fifth generation, and my son is the sixth. So we've been fishing uh, ever since our family moved from England. We fished every fish that you could, that you could fish salmon and codfish and turbot but not now now it's not like that our water temperature changed in the 80s the water started to get colder and the fish started to migrate and a lot of our codfish migrated across to Iceland to Greenland and to the Barrett Sea in 1992 there was a collapse of the, the ground fish, not only uh, cod, but uh, turbot and flounder and all this. And when these fish went out, a lot of our fishermen here in this community gave, gave up fishing. Then the government put on the restrictions on the remaining fishermen, and that's what happened. People had to, had to, had to move out of Newfoundland because of the cod moratorium. In this little cove here, this little place here, is me and three others. That's all is left. Gone. Everyone is gone. We can't get quotas, enough fish to be able to live. Back prior to the 92, we get up in the morning, we was going fishing. We fished whatever we fished. Only thing that told us and had control of us with Mother Nature. But not now. If the present trend continues with the low quotas, there won't be any, 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 anybody left to participate in a future fishery. If you don't have fishing in these places, the towns are dead. They're gone. We're 500,000 people with a strong culture. But what can we do? What can we do? But it's still a good life, you know? So that's my life. Fishing is my life.